Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel again. This is the second part of the previous video. Now we can continue this furthermore. Thank you for comments you put on me. I will explain some more about this in here. At the end you can identify everything clearly. At the end we put angle sensor here. Here also you have to use a converter because the pendulum is a physical system. Here I'm use a axis sensor to make the direction. We can run and see what is happening. When you take the graphs oh you will have an oscillation type curve. So you can use a scope to see this. Before see the output you have to run the model again. This is between minus 1 to 1 and, there is a oscillation but not clear to us. Let's make this. Input a display to find the axis. After run this you will see the minus 1 in the row. This is a kind of vector. You have to use a gain to get rid from other components. To do this use what I'm done in here. You can multiply this by a vector gain. This second gain is to convert the angle into theta. In here you can see the plot starting from other degree not by 5 degree.
This is why this second angle vector wants. If you get plus 1 other than getting minus 1 your vector addition should be plus 1. Now you can see the last output form the display. At the end we put angle sensor here. This is the final output. You can see that the angle start at 5 degrees. This is the final output. This is the angle output but I will keep this remain until build the plant. After that we can come to the cart force part. In here we are going to input a external force to the cart. To do this we apply a external force by applying this block. Before that in here also you should use a converter to send the signal to physical system. In here we have to define the force direction. So I will choose X direction because I will put all directions to that way. Do the same to the pendulum force too. And don't put links to the ends. After making the plant I will tell you what is going on with these.
This is finished now. Select all the system and add to a subsystem. This is the plant what we designed. And you can see now we have external inputs to plant which we kept before not applying links. Rename those links and finished the plant designing part. You can put names on the bottoms of the blocks. So you can clearly identify after make this. This is the end of the video. In next video we can continue form here and see how to add sensors to the plant and take outputs. After that we can use PID controllers to stable the system very accurately. You can make comments on me. Hope you will all subscribe the channel and keep touching with me. Send me your problems to the below links. Thank you for watching this video. See you soon on the next video.